Okay, so we're going to be doing some soil tension infiltrometer tests. Uh, we have here the instrument uh, tension infiltrometer, the 20 centimeter diameter uh, disc plate. So I'm gonna place this gap. This is the place I want to put the plate. It's gonna go and cut a little bit of the weeds out. We don't want to pull anything out. Press along um, just a little bit more. I really pour sand and just uh, spread it around. The important thing is uh, to remember that the sand should not impede the infiltrations. To start off, you can open up B, B, you can open up A, so we go ahead and open this. At the bottom here that connects the bubble tower and the red reservoir can remain open. And also, we're gonna start filling in the bubble tower. Make sure it's in the resting position. Put this back down. So it's roughly seven centimeters from the top. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and set the tension. Uh, is 21. So we're gonna loosen this. I'm gonna bring this up to make sure it's 21. Okay, we're gonna tighten that. Okay, we're gonna close this. Alright, two. While it's submerged, you may have to lift it up a little bit. It's gonna get tricky. Okay, now we want to open this and let the bubbles come this way. You don't want any air in the base plate. Okay, go ahead simultaneously. Okay, you actually don't need this. Take this out. Okay, I'm gonna do Okay, so you wanna put the level on this and on this. It's not level, so we have to slightly decrease. Okay, and that's pretty good. So as you can see, it's pretty level. Clamp B, and clamp up there, clamp C on the bubble tower. And try to have to record every two minutes. So you need to see both. As you can see, you just missed that right there. And there we go. So we know that's working well. And uh, we'll see the water level decrease.
surface of the water. The surface is right here. It's around 8. So 8 plus 9 is 17. So we're going to have to bring this up to 17 degrees. So what we're going to do is first we're going to stop it. We're going to stop B 